Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.2 Beta 3. Now I'm on the go, so I'm just recording this really quickly for you, but this came in at 170.9 megabytes for my iPhone 7 Plus, you can see here, and this particular beta only really changes a few things from the last beta. Now the iOS 10.2 betas overall have brought quite a few little changes here and there, and I'll link those as a card in this particular video to the original one so you can see all the different changes. Now one of the obvious things is the TV app, but let's take a look at the build number first and then we'll come back and take a look at that stuff. You can see the build is 14C5077B and this particular build, like I said, adds the TV app just like before, but it got rid of the video app. So if you had the video app that you're used to, that's gone. It's now replaced by TV, and I suspected that before. And you'll see it just gives suggestions, things like that. All sorts of different things as far as watch now. And this is going to be the new videos going forward. And with that comes a new widget that they've added as well. I don't have anything in there right now, but you've got a new widget here. And that's replaced the video widget. You do have to add this separately, but it's a new widget that suggests or shows your most recent video and the suggestions that go along with it. Aside from that, we have our feedback app, and we have some new settings as well. So let's go into settings, and in settings, if we scroll way down, you'll see there's TV. And in TV, we've got some options, cellular data for playback, Wi-Fi, best available, or good. And then we have cellular good, or purchases and rentals in HD or standard definition. So pretty simple there as well. We have some other settings that are now missing from this particular one. Before we had SOS, and SOS allowed us to click the home button, or the sleep-wake button rather, five times, and it would call out. That's actually gone, so I suspect they'll bring that back, but right now it's missing from this beta. It's not there at all. You can click this five times, it does nothing. So one, two, three, four, five, and you'll see it just turns on and off. So that's really pretty much it for this beta update. Nothing really spectacular, but they keep tweaking it and refining it. I'm sure there's bug fixes in there, and it feels pretty quick as well. As When I was on Safari, it was working very well as far as that goes. The other thing, too, I wanted to mention is the beta 2 version of this really had some pretty weird battery life. Sometimes it would be great, other times it wouldn't. So I'm not really sure what that's all about, but hopefully that'll be fixed going forward. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link to this wallpaper in the description like I always do. If you have any suggestions for wallpapers, please send them to my email address, uh, or you can just contact me there and or send them to me on Twitter if you want to see your wallpaper here. Let me know and I'll link it in the description for maybe one of the future videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.